Hey guys, today we are making tamarind chutney and here are some ingredients which I have used. I know you guys might be thinking that my gas <laughs> is kind of dirty but believe me I tried to clean it and it's but the two kids and cooking is the same. Okay, alright. So here I've taken a brick of tamarind. I just generally take any of the tamarind and it was taken and soaked in the water for the overnight then i just strain it with a strainer and this is the garbage thing which is in that i mean it's seed and some what strands which is not useful for us right now i took a break of it and then for uh, for helping i just need a cup of water i put it one cup of water to strain it out and here are some ingredients which we would be putting in our tamarind chutney and believe me it's an authentic tamarind chutney which you find which you can find anywhere in especially in Delhi for the charts so here's the jaggery I have taken one and a half cup of jaggery I have taken it was a break of tamarind and it's a one and a half cup of jaggery some cumin powder it's roasted cumin powder i made it at home some white salt it's about a tablespoon of white salt a tablespoon of red chili and a tablespoon of uh, sorry not a tablespoon i forgot i'm sorry it's teaspoon it's a teaspoon of sea salt the pink salt all these ingredients if you want i can describe uh, just comment and i will give it to you now let's just start the procedure. I'll turn on the flame on high since we need to boil all these ingredients. We need this jaggery to be caramelized in it. And this was a brick of jaggery. So I broke it and I've taken out. Now I'll just put directly these jaggery into this liquid, tamarind liquid. And once it starts boiling, jaggery will melt down and it will give the sweetness to our chutney. And if you wish, you can replace this jaggery with sugar or with the brown sugar, whatever you find convenient. And next I'm going to put all these masalas which I have taken because we just need to boil it as soon as the boil come we'll condense it for near about a one thread consistency and you can store this in any airtight container for about six months and believe me there would be no need to store it for six months because it would be finished as it would be made See this tamarind pulp, it's kind of very thick right now. So we can also put near about a one cup of water into it. I put it some more light for you guys. Can you see that? Now when we'll we'll see this after this jaggery is melt. Okay guys, all of you can see that this tamarind chutney is ready. I just gave it a boil and till the point this jaggery is melted, I cooked it. And it's looking so delicious, it's smelling so mouth watering that I cannot resist while making this so I'll have it after my dinner. I'm preparing dosa for my family today. Dosa and the tamarind tomato chutney. Onion tomato chutney. So if you guys like it, please hit like and subscribe. And would we'll be there for another video. And one more thing. While you're making this chutney, you can leave it at this consistency. And as soon as it will cool down, it will it has a tendency 
to get more thick in so if you are leaving it thickening it won't be working because it will just uh, be like a, a hard thing and it you won't like that consistency so go ahead and make your own chutney and make it taste to your family enjoy bye